back to Sunday Night Dinners with Deborah. Today we're going to do something a little different. I cook for everyone. I'm a professional chef. I cook in restaurants. I also cook for my family. I cook for my friends. And I also cook for my dogs. So today I'm going to be making pumpkin peanut butter dog treats. Now it's something I make every two or three months. I portion them and then I freeze them and I pull them out and my dogs and my cat love them. Three ingredients, it's healthy. In a lot of ways it's healthier than what you get for dog treats in the pet stores or online. Everything I know that I would eat, I'm giving to my dog and it's safe for them. Three ingredients, peanut butter. Now I just happen to be using this national brand, but the one thing you wanna make sure about peanut butter is in the last couple of years, some companies have started adding xylitol, which is deadly for dogs. It's an artificial sweetener. So you wanna make sure that you read your label to make sure your peanut butter does not contain xylitol. That's the only caveat with this recipe. It's dead easy. Pumpkin. Now you're gonna want pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling, pumpkin puree. Or if you're like me and you garden, grow some pumpkins in the garden, bake them, you puree them, and then you freeze it and you have it ready for you to use for yourself. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie muffins, pumpkin sheet cakes is one of our favorites, or also for the pumpkin dog treats. And then just plain flour. I don't add salt, I don't add cinnamon. The animals love it and they don't need any of the extra additives to it. It's a half cup of peanut butter. Now, if you really didn't want to use a measuring cup, that would be okay. If you're fairly confident in your measurements, because this is a very forgiving recipe. And this also doubles, triples, quadruples perfectly. Next, we're adding one cup of the pumpkin puree. And then it's one and a half cup of flour. Now, if you want to use an alternative flour, such as an oat flour or a rice flour, the recipe works beautifully with that. And as I always say, mix it up. If that's all you have, use just a wooden spoon in a bowl. And there you have it. I'm now gonna use a scoop, and this is a three quarter ounce scoop. I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. You don't have to worry about spreading because these cookies, or I call them cookies, but these treats do not spread. So you can do them quite close together. I'm actually gonna move mine closer together. so that I'm only gonna have to bake off one sheet. And that's our oven ready, preheating, and we bake it for 10 minutes. Taking the treats out of the oven, and I've just let them cool. And now we get to see the reaction. Sit. Sit. <laughs> there you go. And there's George. And Freddie gets a little bit. Oh, son. <laughs> it's kind of a free for all. Freddie. Sunny, sit. Good girl. Sunny, sit. Here's my kitty. Freddie. <laughs> and there you go. You get a conventional treat because the other two were just too eager. Are you my good puppies? Yes. So make your dogs happy too. Try out the treats. It's healthy, quick, and it makes them really happy. So thank you for joining me. 
for Sunday Night Dinners with Deborah, and we'll see you again. <laughs>